SciSense for Cloud Data Teams self-service extends the work of the data team across their organization and helps business teams unlock powerful insights independently. Citizen data analysts can build live data models and dashboards without code, and business teams can use dashboards to slice, dice, and drill into anywhere to answer their second, third, and fourth questions autonomously. The workflows and functionality your team utilizes today in the SciSense for Cloud Data Teams platform will remain the same. Self-service dashboards will be built in the main SciSense platform. To access it, you will need to click on Workbooks on the top left corner of your screen. A drop-down will appear, select Dashboards, and you will be taken to the main SciSense platform. To begin building, you will select the desired tables or materialized views from your warehouse. These tables will not be imported into SciSense, but rather visualized so you can build relationships between them. Each table is represented by a SciSense circle with branches connecting them to other tables. To understand the data available in any of them, simply hover over the circle and then click on the magnifying glass. Data details will appear below. It's important to note that while you can view the underlying data, you cannot do any transformations. Those will need to happen in the SciSense for Cloud Data Teams platform. Once you finish modeling data, dashboards can be easily created and shared. As good looking line charts and bar charts are industry standard, the key difference is the interactivity and functionality that comes with the visualizations on your dashboard. By that, I mean that all visualizations are natively able to speak and interact with each other out of the box without specific configuration. For example, if we look at this pie chart, and I select gross sales by entry level firewall, the rest of my dashboard updates to reflect that dimension of the data I've selected. If I want to explore another dimension of data, I can right click on any chart and explore other dimensions that are available in the data model. With regards to this time series visualization, I'm able to start with a high level concept, growth sales by month, and explore by week, day, and even by rep. If I right click here, I can select one of those dimensions and automatically my time series visualization updates to reflect that change. This functionality allows your users to not only answer their first question, but their second, third, and fourth questions independently and enables data teams to focus on their most strategic, high-priority projects that drive the business forward.